The FDA now says it's okay to release genetically modified mosquitoes in Florida. What could possibly go wrong? Can't these GM mosquitoes pass their frankengenes to people? Let's start with the odds of you catching frankengenes. Zero. Genetic changes are in the DNA of the mosquito. They can't spread that DNA in their bites. It's passed only to another mosquito through mosquito sex. Fears about birth defects started when a company called Oxitec released a bunch of GM mosquitoes in Brazil right before serious birth defects started showing up there. But the World Health Organization, the CDC, and just about every scientist who knows anything about genetic modification say it's impossible for birth defects to have been caused by the GM mosquitoes. For one thing, male mosquitoes don't bite. Only female mosquitoes bite. And the GM bugs? All males. Scientists say they fingered the real culprit causing serious health problems, normal mosquitoes carrying the Zika virus. As for the impact of genetically modified mosquitoes on Mother Nature, many scientists say it's safer for the environment to get rid of them that way than by using insecticides that kill good insects, like bees. There are 80 species of mosquitoes in Florida. Losing one isn't going to make a big difference, except to people who don't want to catch Zika. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.